Alright guys, welcome to your 40th biology tutorial and in this video I want to talk to you guys about the last part of cellular respiration. It's called the electron transport chain. It's actually the process that makes up the majority of your ATP. So most of your energy that you, you know, you have in your cells is going to come from this process. So pretty freaking important. So let me go ahead and before I get into the detail of all the different molecules and how you know your cell actually creates these new ATPs, I want to go ahead and show you guys where this process is going to take place. So let me go ahead and draw a mitochondria. Sweet looking mitochondria and of course it has the outer membrane and I'll draw the inner membrane right here. And inside your inner membrane of course is that fluid called the matrix just like the movie except not as exciting so there's your matrix right here and remember that I said that this right here is the outer membrane and this yellow squiggly line is the inner membrane now so far the two parts of cellular respiration glycolysis and the Krebs cycle all of that crap has been going on in the matrix the very inside of the mitochondria however the electron transport chain is basically a process and I'm going to be talking about several different molecules those molecules those proteins I'm going to be talking about are actually embedded right on the inner membrane so I'm going to be basically drawing a diagram that's a zoomed up portion of this so remember these proteins and molecules I'm going to be drawing are actually embedded right on or in the inner membrane so another thing I want to point out before I draw my diagram is that this membrane right here, this yellow line, is actually a bilayer. So just like your cell membrane, it actually has two layers, hence the word bilayer. So now let's go ahead and zoom up on this part. Let me draw a new diagram and we can begin talking about the process of basically the electron transport chain. So let me go ahead and draw alright so here's my bilayer right here and of course this is the matrix and this is the space between the inner membrane and outer membrane and right now we already know that in our matrix we got a bunch of different crap we got N A D H's and let's see we got some hydrogen ions so let me see I'll draw those blue these plus will be positively charged hydrogen ions uh, let's see, we got some oxygen, O2, O2, O2. Remember, the matrix is pretty much fluid filled up with a bunch of different crap, and I'm drawing that crap right now because, you know, not because I like drawing, even though I do, but it's actually pretty important later on. So you also got some ADP. Draw some of that crap right there. ADP. And remember to make ADP, ATP we need one of these phosphates alright so that's enough crap for right now let's go ahead and talk about the process itself so basically the very first thing that happens is we're gonna start with this NADH now on this NADH are electrons so these yellow little stars we will call electrons now these electrons are going to be passed to a new molecule and this new molecule is called NADH dehydrogenase and so we'll say that this 